has not been determined yet. So we just we're counting down and again, crossing fingers that that will not have to be the case. But great news for now. We will be picking up the count in just a few moments. Elevation seven nine decimal seven. And work. ROA, this is LC. 50K launcher settings are azimuth 100.6, elevation 79.7. Good, read back. And ROA, RSO, I'll check 158 and 159. ROA copies. MNO PM. MNO. Turn on data recorders. In work. Turn more cat to convince. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mark. 10 minutes and counting. PM, M and O, recorders are on. PM copies, check 160. Just a reminder, uh, that count you just heard was to begin the terminal count. So we are now currently at T minus 10 minutes and counting. Actually, it's T minus 9 minutes and 41 seconds and counting. CLC, check 161. ACS, check 162. EDS, check 164. M and O, PM. MNO, set ground station levels and confirm. In work. PM MNO, ground levels are confirmed. PM copies, check If you're just joining us, we are counting down for the Black Brant 12 launch from Wallops Island, Virginia, for the Kinetics mission. We are currently at T minus eight minutes and counting. We have been waiting for opportunities to be able to launch this rocket for about a week. Tonight is the last night of the countdown, and it sounds like we are finally potentially getting an opportunity with clear skies in Bermuda. So we are again, crossing our fingers and hoping that pans out. There is a possibility we will do a three minute hold, but we are hoping that is not the case. So stay tuned with us in the next few minutes for more information from Wallops Island. PTM check 170. Swarm check 171. ACS check 172.
PMMNO. Links are recorded and confirmed nominal, and we have a good lock on the transponder. PM 6-9. T-minus 5 minutes, 50 seconds and counting for the launch of the Black Brant 12 from Wallops Islands. Stay with us. PLC, check 173. PTM, check 174. PLC, check 175. PTM, check 176. RSO, start away. Stand by. Go for RSO. Provide final wind weighted settings. Set azimuth one zero zero decimal eight. Set elevation seven nine decimal seven. Azimuth one zero zero decimal eight. Elevation seven nine decimal seven. Good read back. Check one seven seven. LC, this is ROA. This is LC. Set fifty K launcher to final settings. Azimuth one zero zero decimal eight. Elevation seven nine decimal seven. Break, and, break, break. And this is the RSO. Set uh, elevation now 79.5. That is a correction that we're making right now. 79.5 for your elevation. ROA copies. LC, do you copy? LC, copy. And work. The team is just getting final launcher settings to get ready for launch, we're currently at three mi three mi T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Okay, final settings are as this one zero zero decimal eight, elevation seven nine decimal five. Good read back, check one seven eight. Reminder, if you're going outside in the local area or even in any part of the Eastern United States, just remember that if you're Listening to this, there's probably a delay, uh, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 seconds to one minute. So just take that into account as you go outside. Um, and again, take some photos if you're able to see the launch, post them so we can see what you're seeing. T minus three minutes and counting. CLC, check 179 and 180. CPR, check 181. MNO, PM. MNO. Verify no change of signal strength and deviation for all things. Verify nominal levels and report any changes in transponder interrogation. And work. PLC, check 185. PL, um, PLC, check 187. PM, MNO. Signal strength has no change. Confirm nominal and no changes to transponder. PM copies, check 183 and 184. PTM check 186. Mark, two minutes in counting. 50K launcher settings are elevation 79.5, decimal five, azimuth 100.8. decimal eight. Check 191. EDS check 190. PLC check 192. PTM check 194. T minus one minute, 30 seconds and counting. Check. ACS check 193. PLC, go. Go. PTM. Go. F10. Go. Swarm. Go. CPR. Go. ACS. Go. EDS. Go. Dartmouth. Go. Goddard. Go. UNH. Go. DI. Go. MMs go. SRPO. SRPO go. 
Check 197. One minute. All stations are go. Reporting go for launch. One minute and counting. On the final night of the countdown. Can't write a better story than this. Forty seconds. Minus thirty. Payloads firing circuit arms. Twenty. ACS check one nine nine. Minus ten nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, nine, tracking. plus ten. Radars two, five, and eighteen are tracking. ACM is enabled. Twenty. Radar 3 has a good track on the booster. Second stage ignition. Again, as we told you... Uh, Second stage separation and third stage ignition. It's a beautiful, beautiful show here. Uh, again, if you're... The camera you're on the screen right now is kind of in and out, again, based on the clouds in the Wallops area. But kudos to our tracking team doing an awesome job of staying locked in. Plus one minute. Third stage burnout. OSS star seven channel one. You're clear to the pad. Be advised there were some chunks coming down. We noticed on video over. We have nose cone ejection. Third stage separation and fourth stage ignition. Burn out of fourth stage. D spin. Two minutes. Separation. Radar 3 is on the main vehicle now. 2, 3, 5, and 18 are tracking. Barium number 1 separation, number 2 separation. The barium tracers have separated. Bob A doors open, Bob A's eject. Positive door break wires, micro switches on the Bob A's. Hear them talking about the secondary. They're calling the secondary payloads Bob, so if you hear them speak of Bob, that's what they're talking about. PDR, so can you meet me on five?
Well, folks, there you have it. It's it's like a a great season finale of your favorite TV show or the whole on your favorite football team team and a touchdown at the end. So congratulations to the team for having this the stay the tenacity to stay focused for this whole long window um, and just to uh, to get this launch beautifully and perfectly tonight so congratulations to the launch team and thank you to everyone for staying with us enthusiasm we appreciate your encouragement and uh, for for both commentator guy keith and for myself rebecca and jamie we are definitely very appreciative of all your support. It's just pointing at second Bob target. So that's about it from Wallops Island tonight. Uh, we will Bob have... Bob B doors open. Bob B is ejection marker switches. Sounds like the Bob's doors are Six opening. Team seeing strong signals on TM links. Unfortunately, we're not going to have video of the vapor tracers. However, um, if you are still hanging around, you should see them if you're going to be able to see them in your location in about five minutes. We'll hang around here in, in case there are questions about it, but we are seeing some amazing imagery coming in on of the launch from Facebook and Twitter. Again, if you have those photos, please post, uh, post them so we can see them. Let us know where you're viewing from. We will hang out a little bit longer. But again, um, we won't have any video of the the barium vapors. But I do, for those that are not going to hang with us, we do just, again, want to thank you for your uh, encouragement and for staying with us over the past week. Again, like I said, this is like a season finale, although it wasn't a cliffhanger this time. It was a successful ending that we were all looking to see. So congratulations to the Kinetics launch team. Um, again, please feel free to, to send us your photos and we will, we will uh, share those later. Team, shortly, uh, those folks have to come back to the launch site or to the facility and upload those. So as soon as we get them, we will post them. Um, if we get any photos of the vapor trails, we'll be glad to post them as well. Uh, but again, if you're interested in... Uh, Continuing the conversation with us, feel free to continue sending your questions along and we'll be happy to answer them. No longer hang with us. We wish you a wonderful evening from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia.
so far it looks like we have sightings in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Akron, Ohio, and Ottawa. So please continue to send us the locations. We're really excited to be able to track them to, uh, to verify. To hear this, continue to send us your information and your images. We're getting reports of the barium barium vapors being seen now. So if you're able to see them where you are, please let us know. We would love to know if uh, you're able to see them. It would be a violet ish in the general vicinity of the launch. see folks clapping in the control center, which often gives me good news. I see thumbs up. Did you also go ahead? Yeah, I'll wait. You're clear to release the airspace. Yes, anybody. We still have a few more minutes. The, the clapping hands, thumbs up. Excitement, high fives in the control room, air hugs and abound. That shows uh, good signs from the PI and the launch team. So again, if you're able to see the cloud, please feel free to take a photo and send it to us. Uh, tweet us or post it in a comment. We're able to see the launch tonight. We're getting some amazing photos coming in from all across the East Coast. So we are thankful for that. Um, and please keep them coming. We love to see what you're seeing. And again, as always, if you have questions, we'll be sure to answer them. Swarm LOS. All radars have LOS, LOS. LOS just simply means loss of signal. Nothing to be concerned with. That's uh, it's perfectly normal. All right, folks, that is going to be it from Wallops Island tonight. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. And for those of you that have a late start to school and work tomorrow, you can contact wonderful um, excuse note that you were up watching a rocket launch. So I, I kid, but seriously, maybe not. All right, have a great night. Congratulations to the Kinetics launch team and all of the, the folks on the launch team. We are so excited for you. Have a great night from Wallops Island and have a pleasant Monday. Take care.